by Edith G. Tolchin While everyone knows Dolly Parton for her golden voice, she's been famous across seven decades, not everyone knows that she favors songwriting to singing. I have often said that my songs are my children and that I expect them to support me when I'm old. Well, I am old, and they are, writes Parton in her new book. In the retrospective, Dolly Parton, Songteller, My Life in Lyrics, by Dolly Parton, with Robert K. Orman, the book features a page of lyrics with a companion page of story or photos about those lyrics. Also, while most chapters are written in the first person by Parton, the occasional chapter is written by her co-writer, Robert K. Orman. The reader should note that the lyrics begin in chronological order, but later jump around between the 1970s and recent songs. In addition to Parton's compelling life story, the book features many photos as well as 175 songs from her career. Though she began writing songs at age 5, Parton got her start at age 10 singing on a radio show in Knoxville and had her first recording at age 13. Parton was the first family member to graduate high school in 1964 and the next day she got on a bus to Nashville with just her songs and some clothes. Her first songwriting royalty check was for $1.02 from Tree Publishing Co., in Nashville. She married Carl Dean in 1966, a man she met the day after she arrived in Nashville. A reunited outcast will perform alongside ASAP Rocky, Rick Ross, August Alsina and Ty Dolla Sign at Staples Center during the second day of the Bed Experience held at LA Live in downtown Los Angeles on Saturday. Edison's Noah Cronfly throws a pitch during a SIF SS Division I playoff game against Tessero at Edison. Angela Madsen, Left, and partner Tara Remington demonstrate their 20-foot monohull rowboat at the Pete Archer Rowing Center on Thursday. A storm in the Pacific Ocean has delayed their trip to Hawaii until Tuesday. In 1969, Parton started singing on The Porter Wagoner Show, which she did for five years, and she was invited to join the Grand Ole Opry. She also toured with Wagoner's group. Toward the end of her time with Wagoner, there was conflict when she felt he tried to control her career. Parton felt she needed to control her own destiny and that ultimately led to their parting ways. Throughout her songwriting career, Parton has never shied away from controversial themes including suicide, war, drugs, cheating partners, transgender issues, and strong women. Whatever I write is just what comes out of me, and I refuse to be judged, she writes. The book is filled with interesting facts about the iconic Parton, concerning her mega hit, Presley who wanted exclusivity on it.